welcome to another tech tip presented to you by Cat Dimensions. My name is Sashi and today we're going to be focusing on finding the right number of modes based on mass participation factor for your linear dynamic analysis. A mass participation factor really is the reflection of the mass that participates in a particular mode. Um, so the square of your mass participation factor gives the mass in whether it's kilograms or pounds taking part in that mode. This is actually what is called modal mass. So by adding all the squares of all the mass participation factors of all modes should give you something close to the total mass of the model. However, getting total mass is actually pretty impossible uh, for continuous systems uh, such as uh, 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 models like this um, within a, a simulation analysis because of how the mathematical model is built and how the equations are, are calculated. So um, what SOLIDWORKS simulation recommends is that we have uh, a mass participation factor of above 80% in the direction in which you have um, any type of external forces being applied. Now in this example here, we have a base excitation in the X direction. And the square footage of the analysis is uh, largest in the X and Z planar, which means the X and Z direction should have a mass participation factor above 80%. Now to find your mass participation factor in uh, SOLIDWORKS simulation, all you need to do is first set up within your properties the number of frequency that you would like to test say OK right click and you don't even have to run the entire analysis you can just run frequency and solve simulation typically solve this within a few seconds you can come into your results right click and say list mass participation right off the bat we can see that at 15 modes we have only 44 or 45 percent in the x direction and 24 percent in the z direction so at this point we can say well let's add more modes um, and typically in most analysis around 60 70 modes is a good number so we'll go ahead and and, and average that out to say 65 modes i'll say okay right click run frequency And when we look at our mass participation, it still shows um, below 80% for X and Z. Now, the reason for this is because as you add more and more parts within your assembly and they all oscillate freely, to get to above 80% is going to start to get challenging. So just for test purposes, we said, well, let's find out at how many modes does the software actually is able to generate a mass participation factor above 80%. And what we've come to find out is this is at 600 modes, which is a very, very high number. So to view this, I just, I'm just going to say right click uh, to find to find frequency response graph. And you can see that um, the mass participation factor only surpasses 80% um, somewhere close to 9,000 and the in the X direction uh, it is close to 12,000 Hertz which is very very high and not very conducive for analysis so the best way uh, or a way to get around this is really to get back into your model and extract the parts that you're actually trying to test for your vibration analysis. In this example, it is a vi vi vibration analysis, which is going to focus on a chip and a chipboard and the chips. So what I've done here is I've created a configuration with only those parts. I've ran a mass participation, I've ran a frequency analysis with 65 modes, and this has given me um, above 80% in the X and Z direction. Basically what this tells me is that 65 modes is a good number to apply to my analysis, my full analysis, 
and still be able to get good results um, especially for the for the parts that I'm testing within this assembly here so uh, basically to summarize in the future when you do run your uh, vibration analysis or linear that any type of linear dynamic analysis and you're not getting the mass participation factor above 80% extract the parts that you need to test get those to um, 80% or above and apply that number of modes within your assembly. I hope this tech tip has been useful and uh, until next time, thank you. Don't forget to check us out on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook and our blog for more great content by clicking on the links in the description below. 